hi everyone and welcome back so today's video is going to be relatively short and it will just be a quick rundown of the top five most evil characters that i've read in books so this is in no particular order and the amount of evilness of each character can be determined by your own standards these are just the characters that i've found to be the most evil when i've read them in these books okay number one is rashid from A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husseini. A Thousand Splendid Sons is the only book to date that I still remember that has made me cry while reading it. Now, the atrocities that happened to our two main protagonists here, most of it was committed by Rashid. Rashid is a misogynistic, abusive person with no redeeming qualities whatsoever. As I was reading through it, I just, I just powered through because it was amazing story, and I had to say that Khalid Husseini wrote the evil character, or the, you know, wrote Rashid really, really well here. It really made me hate him. Number two on my list are the pics from Animal Farm, Snowball, and Napoleon. Now, Animal Farm is an allegorical tale on the Russian Revolution. So if you've read it, you know that uh, the animals in the farm chase off their uh, humans who are looking after them. So they would have full control over the farm. Now the animals who spearheaded this revolution in the farm were the two pigs, Snowball and Napoleon. It's been a while since I've read Animal Farm. I read it way back when, when I was still in school. But I clearly remember how much I thought these little pigs were shits. And they went from being just little shits to sneaky little shits. Because in Animal Farm, they had these seven animal commandments that they had written on the side of the barn, which the pigs themselves had written. And this were supposed to treat all animals equally throughout in the farm. And then every night as they were getting more powerful and becoming corrupt by power, the pigs would go and modify these commandments to suit their needs. Seems very similar to certain things which are happening in the political climate right now. So actually, you know what, I think I will reread Animal Farm and put up a review on that. But uh, let me tell you, those two pigs were just little shits. Number three on my list, and probably the most violent person on this list, is Annie Wilkes from Misery by Stephen King. That book, oh my god, when I read it, the parts where she tortured him, the physical torture, it was so creative. I, I don't even know if I should tell you what she did because it would spoil the book for you if you wanted to read it. And you should read this book. If you like body horror, then this is the book for you. Because I actually got chills while I was reading this book. And there were certain chapters and there were certain instances in the book where I just had to I just had to keep it away. Now, there's a movie based on the book as well, and they do lift up certain, you know, aspects of the body horror that were described in the book, but not all of it is there in the movie. So if you really want to get that eerie feeling, you should read the book. And I would recommend read it at night. It's really disturbing for some reason. I don't know why, even though this book doesn't actually take place at night, it's just disturbing. You will really like reading this book and Annie Wilkes is definitely on the top tier of the most violent characters in books. Okay, so number four on my list, which will seem strange to some, is The Overlook Hotel in The Shining by Stephen King. Now, according to me, The Overlook Hotel in itself is a character in the book. Now, some would say that the father in the book was the real villain here but I feel it was the hotel overall. The hotel was an embodiment of evil. So it played a psychological game with our protagonist and slowly led him to go insane. He tried as much as he could to fight it off, but in the end, if you read the book, you would see that he really couldn't. Now that is why, in my opinion, the Overlook Hotel is the main villain in The Shining. 
Okay, now we come to the last person on my list and maybe by far the best person on this list. Iago from Othello by William Shakespeare. Now, Iago was a different kind of evil. Now, Iago is a character I don't so much as hate as I have a begrudging admiration for. He was a master in manipulation. The way he managed to manipulate Othello's feelings towards Desdemona and the way he manages to manipulate everyone else around him, including his wife. Mm. He is the hallmark of a really well-written character. Now, Shakespeare does this so well. These, um, you know, these stories of misunderstandings and tragedies in misunderstandings. But in Othello, it was done to the point where this wasn't something which could have been, you know, figured out by just talking to the other person. He had manipulated them so well. He sowed the seed of jealousy in Othello right from the beginning and he watched it grow into a monster and Yago just stayed back and watched them you know the tragedy unfold Othello is also one of my favorite Shakespearean plays and it's one that I haven't read in a really really long time and I would really like to get back to it again yes <laughs> So okay, that's it everyone. That's my top 5 list for the most evil characters that I've read in my in the books that I've read. <laughs> so now you tell me, who do you think is the most evil character that you've read in a book? Comment, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe everyone. Bye bye.